gonna do an oldie. I'm gonna show you how to adjust a carburetor on an old car. Now when adjusting a carburetor, the first thing you need to do is to start the engine and let it warm up for five or ten minutes. Because you can only adjust the carburetor when it's warmed up. If you do it when it's cold, the adjustments will be wrong. Now this is an Edelbrock, and you'll see right here, this is the idle speed adjustment screw that moves the throttle. If you turn the screw in, it opens the throttle more, and if you turn it out, it makes the throttle go in more and go slower. And all you need is a screwdriver on the front, turn it to the left makes it go slower, turn it to the right makes it go faster. So with the engine running, turn the screw so it idles decently. Then you'll notice on the front of the carburetor there are two more screws, one on the left here and one on the right. Those are the air screws. Now on the left side screw, what you want to do is turn it in until it just bottoms out and you can feel it hitting. Then turn it back out one and a half turns. Half, one, and a half. That's a good factory setting to start out with. Then do the same thing on the other side. Then start it back up and let it run a few minutes. And now comes the tricky part. Go on the left side and turn it out a little bit at a time until it reaches its highest speed. And if you turn it out and it makes no difference, then turn it back in until it reaches the highest speed. And now we do the other side. Then you go back to the idle speed screw, the one that's all by itself, and turn that till you get the RPMs when you want it. And there we have it, a smooth running engine. Ah, if only modern cars were as easy to fix with just a screwdriver. And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. And I'll answer them as soon as I'm done driving this car.